Today I wanted to talk to you about chromelin in general. Um, I guess if you are watching this video, I guess you have um, chromelin on, on your system and you are using it to control your instrument and uh, as well as using chromelin to, for data analysis. So there are basically two parts to chromelin. One is instrument control, another is data analysis. Okay. So if I um, bring up chromelin, so in this navigation pane, you know, there's instrument and there is data. Okay. So the instrument is used to control your instrument, right? So you can control your instrument using, you know, if you go to the oven, you can change the oven temperature, you know, say 50 and, you know, it will slowly increase the temperature to 50 as well as you can control your front inlet uh, you know you can change the flow rate or anything you can change the flow rate to say 1.4 column flow and it will do that so this is what I call instrument control you can control your instrument uh, using chromium okay this is the front TCD if I want to change anything the temperature the makeup gas I can change that so <clears throat> that's one aspect of chromelin that you, you uh, that you need to understand. So it's used for instrument control, like I've done right now, and also it is used for data analysis. So you have to keep these two things separate in your in your head. Okay, the data analysis part is just separate, and your instrument control part is separate. So for the instrument control part, uh, if you go to your lower right you see this instrument the local instrument controller right so just click on that and this is the chromelian services manager okay so this is uh, what uh, basically controls the instrument if i say stop co instrument controller you know it's going to stop it so basically it's going to disconnect my uh, computer from the instrument okay so if I go to so the instrument control appears to be stopped right and it was unable to connect to the instrument right so if sometimes if you see this screen on your uh, instrument that means you know the instrument controller has stopped for whatever reason and to restart it you need to go to your instrument services manager and uh, after some time it will start so if your instrument controller is off you know you'll have this big red cross on there as well as you can see it from here you know it's a big red cross and if you start this instrument controller then you should be able to uh, control your instrument okay so there you go so automatically it has connected to your instrument so don't panic if uh, you know if you see something like that message you know you it was I mean you are not able to uh, control the instruments that generally means that you have um, uh, the instrument controller has stopped for whatever reason so generally uh, you know when you restart your computer I uh, generally I um, have this check marked so start service on system start so basically if you turn off your computer and turn it on again and if you don't have this uh, check marked uh, you know it won't start on its own you have to start it manually okay so um, so um, I think I'll stop my video over here you know I, I think I've given you a basic overview of uh, chromelian I mean one is so in short one is uh, there are two things chromelian is used to control your instrument in this instrument's uh, pane okay where you can control your you know your uh, oven temperature your flow rates you know this is for GC but you know if you have LC I guess it's similar uh, and the second part is the data where you can analyze your data so now uh, um, even if the instrument control is stopped you can still analyze your data there's nothing stopping you from the, doing that you can still analyze your data which you have collected in the past okay so um, so don't worry about uh, that um, okay so let me uh, stop my uh, uh, let me stop the video over here